Okay, this is the Umarex HDR50, one of the most confusing guns on the market. And I'll explain why shortly, but all the information that I'm about to provide pertains only to England. So do check your local laws and regulations for the legality of these weapons. Um, so first off, I'm going to just show you the uh, item number. So as you can see here, this is model number 2.4757. Now, this model that ends in 7 refers to the 7.5 joules version of the uh, weapon. There is another more powerful one which ends with 8 and that is the 11 joules version. So that's keep so just keep that in mind but basically this barcode here this is the only indication of which model you've got there is nothing printed on the gun that i can see that indicates which ones i've got but i wouldn't be surprised if the company can actually trace it back from the serial number so the box comes unsealed like this and i assume they've given me the correct model and i'll explain why in a second but just before that uh, i'm just going to do a just going to explain briefly what this is. So this stands, so HDR stands for Home Defense Revolver, and this is a 50 caliber CO2 revolver. So they're powered by standard CO2 uh, cartridges, 12 gram CO2 cartridges. The gun itself is really light. In fact, it's a lot lighter than than my other um, guns, and the reason for that is this is a plastic frame or, or polymer frame weapon so it probably weighs um i don't know really it's quite light it's definitely way under one kg um maybe the weight of a, a real glock or something like that but anyway um it comes sorry it uses six round magazines like this so um i i got this included as part of the package but i'm, I'm not sure if i'll use them so you can fire any 50 caliber round ammunition really so let's have a look at what we've got here so for home defense you want to use these rubber balls these uh hard rubber balls because they are non-lethal and they inflict a lot of uh, pain all right uh, let's talk about what makes this different from a normal 50 caliber uh, gun now, as you would know, if you're into air pistols or rifles, you cannot leave a CO2 cartridge installed in a weapon for prolonged periods because it tends to damage the seals inside because there's a lot of pressure in these things and you're expecting the mechanism to hold, hold the pressure back, etc. So um, the way this works, um, I'll explain it in a second, but I'm going to have to stop the video so I can use both hands to unscrew the bottom of this. Okay, so the beauty of this weapon is if, if we have a look at the uh, the chamber where the CO2 cartridge is installed, we can see a sharp pointed edge at the bottom. And the purpose of that is to pierce the seal on the CO2 cartridge. So this cartridge is actually loaded up this way with the top facing down and this bit is uh, screwed in and fastened um, with the hex key and the reason for that is when you when you pierce the um, the bottom of the CO2 cartridge the uh, the gas basically comes out of the cartridge and it just fills the whole chamber so if you think about it the only way the gas can get to the actual mechanism is, is, is that it comes out from the cartridge and it pressurizes the entire chamber and there must be a, a port somewhere up there where it takes the uh, CO2 pressure to, 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 to the, uh, the mechanism. So what we've got here is the, uh, the uh, plunger to pierce the capsule, but there is no plumbing or, or pipe work or anything here to connect the... Uh, uh the chamber to to the mechanism so this is just a, a piercing cap and what makes this um stand out from normal air pistols is if you have this sitting like it like that obviously tighten up with the hex key then 
um, as soon as you need to use it, you just give this a whack and it, it will puncture the seal and pressurize the gun and then you're ready to go. So you can keep this by your bedside or, or whatever, somewhere in your, your home or, you know, use your imagination. And um, when you need it in, 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 in the spur of the moment, you just whack that and you, you can fire the intruder. Now, obviously, you can keep spare magazines fully loaded and ready to go. Um, I'll just push these balls out to show you what they're like. So these are just 50 caliber uh, rounds. All right, so that's it for the, the weapon. Um, now, let's talk about the controversy here. So um, there are a number of uh, ammunition types that can uh, be fired from a 50 caliber pistol. So you can get like paintballs or chalk uh, rounds, chalk rounds or... Um, uh, CS gas loaded ones etc so you need to be very careful about what you use because uh, for example here in England you can't use ones filled with CS gas oh and there are also people who sell solid steel um, balls so more on that later right so coming back to the legality of this this weapon now having the 7.5 joules version is perfectly fine because if you had an air pistol in in England, the uh, legal limit in terms of power is eight foot pounds. Um, if you had the eleven joules version of the, um, the the gun, by the way, it looks identical. Now, eleven joules when you convert to foot pounds, it equates to eight point something. It's just under nine foot pounds, so you're over the legal limit, and that puts it as a section 5 uh, firearm and it carries a minimum jail sentence of 5 years so you don't want to to mess about with that now the thing is a lot of UK websites are selling the 11 Jews version as well and they put in a caveat saying you can only use it with um, with ammunition that, that shatter or disintegrate on impact so you can use them with paintballs or chalk, uh, chalk rounds for example so what they're doing is they're marketing this as a paintball marker or rather the 11 juice version. So they're marketing this as a paintball marker and they're saying, hey, this is a paintball marker, not an air pistol. So it doesn't have to comply with the legal limit for air pistols in England. The legal limit for paintball markers is actually just slightly higher. It's about um, just under 10 uh, foot pounds of, of energy. So, so the 11 juice version fits right in there. But... The thing you've got to remember is you want to use this as self-defense. You can't shoot an, at an attacker or, or someone who, who, who breaks into your home with one of these rounds if you're using the 11 juice version because what's going to happen if that person tells you know gets caught by the police and he, and he says you've used an illegal weapon to, to fire him then, then you're, go, you're going to end up in big trouble. Um, so point is if you're going to use this solely for paintballs then fine get the 11 juice version um if you plan to use it for a dual role definitely stay on the safe side of the law and get the lower powered version now to to complicate things further there are companies that sell modification kits and they're not too expensive and you, and you get them quite easily and they will unlock even this well as i mentioned they're all uh, identical except the parts inside so the uh, seven and a half juice version has has some restrictors inside that the eleven juice hasn't got, but it's got other types of restrictors. Anyway, you can get mod kits online, which basically can convert this to um, up to twenty or thirty juice from what I've seen, which is a bit a bit stupid if you ask me. Um, so imagine if you, you take a weapon and uh, like this, and you replace the uh, the valve pins and the restrictors and you get like over 20 joules of energy. And that, that brings me back to, to the steel ammunition. So if you fire steel balls with, with one of these, it's not going to go very far because it hasn't had, have that much, it doesn't have that much energy. But with uh, the fully unlocked 16 joules or 20 or 30 joules, is what, what the, uh, the manufacturers of those kits uh, claim, that um, makes it quite lethal. Uh, so... Definitely don't go down that route, especially if you live um, here in the UK, because um, you could get into a lot of trouble. Uh, and I mean, why would you want to 
fire steel balls anyway. As I, as I mentioned, if you, even if you fired it um, in self-defense, you're still going to get into a lot of trouble. So anyway, that's it. Um, thanks for watching and feel free to ask any questions in the comments.